Hey everyone, and welcome to the workshop. This is my 19th century radial drilling machine, which I have dragged out today to continue with its disassembly. I want to take the main head off and this shaft, which is loose. But first, I want to rewind and show you what the machine looked like before I started any work to it and what has been done so far. Back in early 2022, I went to see a man about a drill. He had no indoor space for it, but he couldn't bring himself to send it to the scrapyard. So it had unfortunately sat outside for 40 years. As soon as I saw it, I knew that it was time for a new chapter in its life. So we came to a deal and of course it followed me home. As soon as it arrived back at the workshop, I removed the horrid guards and the fabricated replacement hand wheel. The original must have been smashed up somehow and making a nice replica will be a project further down the line. There is currently no maker's marks visible, so I have no idea who built it, but going off its general design of castings and the size of the gearing, I'd estimate it to have been built around 1880. Although, of course, it could be later if the makers were using an older design. Because of its 40 years outside, the machine was completely seized. Knowing I'd have my work cut out getting it to move again without destroying it, I put it under my porch area and regularly oiled it and occasionally heated it, for the next two years. I used WD-40 plus gas, diesel and kerosene, basically whatever happened to be around at the time. A few parts on the head came loose early on, but the main progress began this year when I was able to lever the back gears free by clamping a very long bar to them. I spent every evening for a week pulling keys and heating and pressing parts, which resulted in the main drive shaft finally moving for the first time as well as the vertical shaft coming loose, and parts of the column raising mechanism being removed. I tried several times to remove the top horizontal shaft that drives the head. I did manage to get it to move a tiny bit, but it took an awful lot of force, and I was worried about breaking the castings. It needed to free off in multiple places at once, so I decided to cut it up and sacrifice it. It was pretty badly pitted anyway, so a new one won't hurt, and turning a shaft is a much easier than repairing or replacing a broken casting. So that's where we are as of today, and it's finally time to lift off the main drilling head and continue the disassembly.
So the next challenge is to remove this shaft and pinion here. And this pinion drives a rack in this protrusion which causes the column to go up and down. And there was a worm wheel on the back of this shaft and a worm and then a big bar with a hole in it which you can put a bar in and rotate it when you're working and that would raise this whole thing up and down. Now I've been oiling this again for, for, for a couple of years since having the drill like I have in all of the parts and it is moving. I've been giving it a bit of a tickle with my copper mallet today and uh, I think we're getting somewhere. Now I'm pretty sure that this pinion is just keyed to the shaft um, probably with just a good fit. I mean there doesn't seem to be any grubs or anything holding this thing together. There certainly hasn't been on any of the other parts. Although I'm not 100% sure because obviously I wasn't here, it wasn't there when they put it together. Um, so I'm just sort of guessing. Oh, that's moved. Look at that. Bit of the old uh, blue and yellow juice to aid things along. There goes the key. Now that pinion should have come out. Um, I was expecting it to fall out, but it hasn't. So probably rusted in there. Just gonna give it a quick tap with this block of wood. Hmm. Yeah, that's a bit stuck. Oh. So this is very frustrating because I thought, I thought this was going to be the easy bit. It's turning into the hardest bit. <sighs> nope.
Nope. Absolutely naff all. Uh, that has pretty much stumped me. I can knock it up and down as much as I like, but I can't get any meaningful force in this direction, which is what it needs. Um, mainly because it keeps binding on the casting here and binding under the casting here. So, I'm gonna to have to leave that for now, go back to the drawing board. If anyone's got any bright ideas, feel free to share them with me. And uh, I'll come back to it on the next one. See you then.